Hi, and welcome to 30 Days of Yoga for Beginners. Today is class 7, 17 or 27 on restorative yoga. Let's begin. So bring the left hand into Chin Mudra and bring to right hand to a position like Star Trek for uh, Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing. Thumb on the right nostril, exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right. Hold. Inhale right. Hold. Exhale left. Hold. Release. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. So for today's practice in restorative yoga, it'll be more meditative very calming for 30 minutes. Um, oftentimes in restorative yoga, we might only do four to five asanas throughout the entire practice. The classes are oftentimes an hour long. Today's session, we're just here for 30 minutes. One thing I want to note is set an intention to be present to this moment for the next 30 minutes that we have together. Oftentimes the mind is oscillating between the past and the future. In the past, it's oftentimes regretting, sometimes glorifying. And it oscillates to the future, worrying and planning. I invite you to be present to this moment for the next 30 minutes. If the mind wanders outside of your room, invite the mind back into the room. If the mind wanders within the room, invite the mind back to the body, breath, and spirit. As we inhale, we inhale deeply, inflating the lungs completely, pushing the diaphragm down, expanding the belly out. And as we exhale, we exhale completely, allowing the air to travel through the top of the nostrils. Yeah. Before we begin, um, I've got a blanket that's kind of soft for the ankles. And I use a bolster to help keep my spine straight. So if you're seated on it, you can use a pillow or any blanket at home um, or multiple pillows. And then I have some blocks here as well. These can also be useful for when you want to elevate the legs or elevate the knees or the spine, or we'll spend a lot of time lying down uh, we'll do a guided yoga nidra session, we'll do a longer uh, shavasana, and then we'll do a guided meditation at the end. So for any of that, find your most comfortable posture and position. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's begin with just, uh, let's just do some gentle warm-ups here. So um, just go ahead and bring the left arm up and look up to that left palm. that go. Right arm up. Let that go. Both arms up, interlace the fingers, the palms face the sky.
let that go. You can put the left palm on the outside of the right knee and just turn to the right. Gentle spinal stretch. Switch sides. Turn to the left. We'll do some of these lying down as well. Back to center. So we can remove the, move the blanket if you'd like to, or your pillow. We'll come on to all fours for Marjali Asana, just to give the back a nice stretch before we become really still. You know, we want to we want to eliminate some of the restlessness in the body before we really become still. We're restoring the balance in the body, breath, and spirit. So inhale, the head up, the belly down, and exhale, arch the body up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One last time, inhale. This time bring the knees a little wider apart. On the exhale, come down into a child's pose. Bring the forehead to the earth and just rest here with the arms elongated in front. All right, now come out of that. All right. And if you ever feel any pain or difficulty, this is one of the most relaxing um, asana sequences we'll do, but you can always come into a child's pose or just lying out, lying down into shavasana. The goal here is restoring that balance, yeah? So we'll do some gentle um, body rotations. So bring the palms on top of the knees, inhale the head back, and exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale to the right and back using deep, long breaths. Exhale, left and down. Continue, inhale, right and back. Exhale, left and down. You reach the bottom, change directions. Inhaling left and back. Exhaling right and down. Come back to center. Keep the head, neck, and spine aligned. Palms are facing down on the knees. Take, take a gentle, deep breath in. And let it go. Take another deep breath in. And let it go. One last time. And let it go. Okay, now we'll go ahead and come to a lying down position. So let your, you can use, um, you can use blocks if you'd like to, to place them anywhere, um, like underneath your, underneath your knees if you'd like, or any way that you want to become comfortable. Uh, you can use the blocks or the pillows as much as you want to 
For now, we're gonna do a few more asanas until we get really still. So just come lying down, take a deep breath in, and let it go. We'll do in line. We'll do lying down spinal twist. So you can move. Let me just move this bolster out of the way. Let the right arm come perpendicular to the body. Bring the left palm over the right knee and fold the right leg over the left hand side. Look out over the right palm. You can close your eyes if you'd like to and just relax. This is lying down dancing Shiva or Natarajasa. Switch sides, let the right leg go long. Let the left arm come perpendicular to the body and let the right palm come over the left knee and fold the left leg over to the right hand side and look out over that left palm. Come back to center. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Slowly bring the body up. Come back into Sukhasana. Bring the hands up. Index fingers pointing to the sky. Remaining fingers are interlaced. Biceps by the ears. On the inhale, bring the arms up. And on the exhale, relax the shoulders. Close the eyes. Inhale up. Exhale, relax. Deep, long breaths. Exhale, bring the palms down. Now bring the right hand into Adi Mudra. So thumb at the base of the pinky, wrap the four fingers around it. And then the left hand, the thumb and the middle finger around the right wrist. This is Yoga Asana. And bring this underneath or close to the lower back. On the inhale, bring the head back. And on the exhale, fold the body. back up. <clears throat> and now come lying down into Shavasana. So in Shavasana you're welcome to grab a bolster if you'd like to. A lot of people like to have bolsters and blankets and maybe a block underneath each uh, kneecap. And so I'll come into different positions that you find most comfortable. You can place a blanket underneath the glutes if you like, or whichever position you find really, really comfortable for you. You're welcome to come into. I personally don't really like to use anything, so I'll place the blocks off to the sides, and I'll place the bolster off to the side. 
and we'll just come down into Shavasana. So you'll want to rest here deep in Shavasana. Shavasana, the, the key to this asana, one of the reasons why it's one of the most difficult asanas is because it's less of the body and more of the mind. We effortlessly allow thoughts to flow through the mind and we take our attention and awareness to the space between those thoughts. And as that space begins to expand, we begin to experience silence. And in that silence, we begin to experience perfection in Shavasana. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. Alright, so now we'll transition from Shavasana to Yoga Nidra. So in Yoga Nidra, we rotate our attention and awareness to different parts of the body. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. So take your attention and awareness to the right foot. To the right calf. To the right knee. to the right hip, the right thigh, attention and awareness throughout the whole right leg. Take your attention and awareness to the left foot.
left calf. your attention and awareness throughout the whole left leg. Now take your attention and awareness throughout both legs. your attention and awareness to the abdomen. The stomach. chest. Take your attention Awareness to the right palm, the right hand. right bicep the 
the right tricep. The whole right arm. Take your attention and awareness throughout the whole right arm. The left palm, the left hand, the left forearm, left elbow, the left bicep, Tricep, the whole left arm. Take your attention and awareness throughout the whole left arm. Take your attention and awareness throughout both arms. And the right shoulder. left shoulder, take your attention and awareness throughout both shoulders. The face, the head. Take your attention and awareness throughout the whole body.
Take a deep breath in and let it go. Turn your body to the right hand side. Now for the last part of restorative yoga, we'll do a guided meditation. And you're welcome to come into whatever position you're most comfortable in. So if you'd like to come into a seated position, ideally you're, you're in some sort of a seated position, so the spine is straight, elongated. Yeah? But if you'd like to lie down for this, you're, you're welcome to stay in a lying down position. So it's much more effective when the spine is elongated. Yeah. So I like to sit on a bolster so that my spine remains relatively straight. And then I like to have a blanket underneath my ankles so that it's relatively cushioned. So be seated easily and comfortably. Let the palms face the sky and close the eyes. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Take another deep breath in and let it go. Become aware of the sounds in the environment. Maybe the sound of voices outside the room or cars outside the home. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Accept the sounds in the environment. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Become aware of your body. Your body is a beautiful gift to you by nature or God or both. Honor and respect the body.
Take a deep breath in. And let it go. Take another deep breath in and let it go. Become aware of your thoughts, whether good thoughts or bad thoughts, let them come. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Now, in harmony with your thoughts, take a deep breath in and let it go. Take another deep breath in and let it go. Become aware of your feelings. You are peace. Enjoy. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Take another deep breath in. And let it go.
Become aware of your feelings. Become aware of your thoughts. Become aware of any sensations in the body. Become aware of any sounds in the environment. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Take a deep breath in and let it go. And with a gentle smile, taking your own time, you may open the eyes. Welcome back. How was it? <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed today's uh, session on restorative yoga. Lend the class with the Namaste. Thank you.